if not a writer. She said, I write like a tagger and speak like a poet. There used to be rusto paint flowing through these veins and sharply ink deeply stained these lips, but those are just far fond memories of freshman year. Just ask the eager spray can sitting in my closet yearning for their fat, skinny, and banana caps to be pressed by the fingertips of an agitated teen willed by the oppression of muffled thoughts and mumbled sounds seen. I used to produce works of art with defined lines and the grips of convictive speech. But now I feel like all I am is an ink smudge on the oblivion edge of an ill-written literary essay. And not ill like Nas's Illmatic or the discussion of how even numbers have limits in most deaths mathematics, more like I've reached my own limit. On the verge of negative, infinite insanity, like anxiety in a room with all its walls stripped of its clots. I've been stripped of my ambition, stripped of recognition of what true art is. And my last glistening hint of hope lives within a question, what do you do when you feel like all the passion has been smothered out of you? He says, just do what you love what you feel is right. And I used to hold the mic tight like it was my birthright because just like atmosphere, it was the only thing I felt I ever had a grip on. There is a power in allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Behind these blinding lights on the stage, behind mic speakers and mic stands, there is a girl, naked. Bearing her soul to an audience of strangers, she's recited this poem a million times in her head in hopes that this time she can make herself for once feel good enough. He says, just do what you love, what you feel is right, but she doesn't even know what love is, and this stage hasn't felt right in so long. As a matter of fact, she doesn't feel anything. She doesn't feel anything. What am I if not a writer? She says I write like a tagger and speak like a poet. See, I used to produce works of art with vivid imagery and chill producing thoughts as wingmen to my words. I spoke with conviction. This stage was my throne. I found comforts in rhyme books instead of black books and for once I belonged. But now, all I am is an ink smudge on the oblivion edge of an ill-written literary essay. Thank you.